Hi, I'm James, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at whether you can downgrade a Windows 11 laptop to Windows 10. In this case, this is the Dell Inspiron 14 inch 5425 laptop I've recently bought to review, and this came pre installed with Windows 11 and has never had Windows 10 installed on it. So, to downgrade, first of all, I would say do this before you have installed any user data on the machine. Um, because the processes I have for doing this do not retain your applications or personal data. So what I have done is downloaded the Windows 10 ISO from the Microsoft website. We have it on a USB stick and I am going to attempt to install Windows 10 onto Windows 11. And what we'll see here is after it runs the checks, we get our licensing. And then we get the alert here that nothing will be carried over, so all files and applications will be removed. However, doing this, the install will then begin. So we are installing Windows 10 onto our Windows 11 system, but wiping all of the applications and data. Now, as this whole process takes around 10 to 15 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer depending on your machine, I've sped this up. So I just confirmed that I wanted it to do the upgrade, or in this case, downgrade and we'll see the machine goes through the install process. I didn't capture all of it because this was running on a laptop and once it goes to certain stages of the install, um, it doesn't output the capture card. I had been hoping to capture it continuously, but I had to uh, resort to a little bit of footage here and just um, capturing what was shown on the capture card. Now this whole process should be familiar for anyone who's done a in-place upgrade of Windows 10 in the past, uh, or even if you've done feature updates which have done this full install process before. But what we see is once the installation has completed, we quickly run through the out-of-box setup. And having done that, we then just connect the device to the wireless, and now looking into settings, going into update and security, and activation, we can see that the machine now has Windows 10 Home installed and activated without having to fill in any kind of Windows 10 product key. It's just activated against our Windows 11 license. I also then tested a clean install, so Windows 10 booting from USB onto the laptop to clean install onto it. So this should pick up the password in the firmware of the laptop, or sorry, the license in the firmware of the laptop. And if it does so, we won't get any requests for which version we want to install. We should just go straight to installing the OS. And we can see here it's taken us to the partitioning. So it picks up the license correctly and we can install Windows 10 as a clean install as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please do hit like to let us know that it was useful for you. Comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.